a novice woodworker's nightmare. The flipping mitre. Especially if you've got four mitres to put together because you're making a picture frame. Yeah. Well, let's say, for instance, you are making a picture frame and you've got yourself some PVA wood glue, such as this, uh, well, this is a Eureka uh, D3. Well, fine. You could use that. But you're going to need to get yourself four of these clamps, which cost flipping money. You know, a small frame, you might get away with some blue tape such as that on each corner. Enough to hold it together. What if I tell you there's an easier way? Because there is. Yes, there's an easier way where you can put together your mitres without the need of, uh, well, expensive woodwork and clamps. <laughs> Although, I have to admit, they are pretty handy things to have anyway. But if you're going to do it once in a while, you know, once in a blue moon, you're going to be putting mitres together, or sticking actually any piece of wood together, which is going to be a little bit precarious, well, I've got a perfect solution for you. Now, this isn't new technology, it's quite old technology. But I haven't made any videos like this on this channel yet. And considering that Eureka uh, wood glues, well, they sent me over some mitre glue, what they call a mitre stick and a mitre stick activator. So the adhesive and the activator. Well, basically, it's a sarinacrylate, which is a, well, it's a super glue. That's pretty much what it is. Now, what makes this a little bit different is that it's uh, of the right viscosity. Now, yes, you could use this stuff, which says it's super glue. <laughs> no, no brand name, no nothing. It's the sort of thing you get out of one of these cheap ass shops. Yes, I have just dropped it on the floor. So, let me pick that up. And we're going to do, all right, three biters. One with that. Mm -hmm. One with that and that. And one with that and that and that. Uh, you're saying? Okay. Well, bear with us. First of all, we've got to put the mites together. Now, I've already trimmed this mite here. It goes together perfectly, this one. Absolutely perfectly, and it does. So that one could be glued together. But they've got two more here that I need to trim. Now, I'm using this um, mitre trimmer here, and I love using this thing. It works so well. It's basically like a big guillotine, you know? And there's something therapeutic about it, you know? When you're just peeling bits of wood off. It's a bit like using a hand plane. That's probably the only reason why I do it. I'd maybe get off on it. <laughs> maybe. So there we go. We're going to just peel that off there like so. I don't know if you can see that very well, there you go. Peel that little bit of wood off there like that. And you end up with these little tiny fine shavings because that blade is so, so sharp. So that's one. And I've got to do the next one. It just gets a much finer, much neater um, mitre because you haven't got a rough saw edge, have you? Now these have been cut using the DeWalt radial arm saw. Now the other thing about using one of these mitre trimmers is the fact that it is set pretty much perfect how I want it. Got it all adjusted up to how I want it for 45 degrees. Which means when I do four 45 degrees, one, two, three, four, like on a picture frame for instance, well, they um, they tend to go together a lot nicer. You don't end up with, like, with the last joint being, oh God, that's way out. And they end up trimming up all the other mites to try and make that one fit. No, you don't, if you've got one of these, you don't generally, if it's set up correct, you don't need to. Now, some people are gonna say, well, you can do that with a, with a you know, a mite, a mite saw. No, you can't. Not like this. So I definitely recommend them. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description down below if you are interested. Now, this one's by Axminster in the UK, but it's literally just a Chinese import. Um, yeah, and you can buy these in, in various American uh, um, woodworking tool outlets as well. But they are a good tool. I, I definitely recommend it. So we're just picking that one off there. That's the last one. So it's just that's a beautiful fine cut. So, yeah, to give like, so it's just like the picture frames you use, but they use a big and they do four, no, sorry, they do two cuts at once, they do. So there we go, we've got three perfect mitres. Yeah, imagine four of them in, in a square. Well, they wouldn't work for this demonstration. No. So first of all, what we're gonna do, we're gonna use this one here. And this is just, uh, well, <laughs> just, yeah, I think it's like a, a euro for uh, uh, five tubes or something. So it's ridiculously cheap. But I know for a fact that this, the viscosity of this is thin. It's actually too thin for doing mitres. That's my opinion, okay? Um, for start, you can make a huge mess everywhere. Now, what I do first, on my workpiece, like, like this, workpiece on my work uh, surface, I'll get a bit of candle wax, or powerful wax, and put a bit down there first. The reason for that is I don't want to stick this to my work surface, because that could be rather annoying that it could. So anyway, we're going to grab a bit of this glue. I've already had to wrench off the lid, because I've been using this. And um, of course, lovely smooth finish on there, it really is. 
Yeah. So we're going to put a bit of this glue around there. I'll just screw on the outside edge. If it'll eventually come out, which it doesn't want to. So I might have, that's the problem with these flimming things. Oh my God, there is glue coming out. Just not where I want it. Oh, crikey, that's the boot about the uh, Eureka one, you see. Ah, oh, there we go, there it comes. It's coming out the side of it instead. That's not very helpful, is it? Ah, oh, there we go. So we've got a bit of glue coming out of there. Oh God, now I'm getting too much. Oh, okay, let's put it over there. Can you see the problem now with this stuff? It's not great, is it? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a little bit, a blob it down there a little bit, just so it's even surface. So what a mess, what a mess. That's a good reason to have one of the right viscosity. Yeah, slightly thicker, basically. Now, this system I'm using here, between these two here, it's not just for wood. No, you can use it for Himsy F and stuff like, you know, fiber-based products, but also like uh, PVCs, like UPVC plastics, if you're doing fascia boards. Now, we used to use this stuff uh, years ago, not necessarily this brand, Eureka brand. Um, we used to use it for uh, fitting the trims on, on uh, PVC fascia boards or, or cover boards and stuff like that. So that's what we used to use it for quite a lot. So anyway, I've got my glue on there like that quite aptly. Now, if I put it together like so, it's not going to stick, is it? No. So what you do is, well, I shouldn't have really done that, touched it on there straight away. <laughs> We're going to use the activator and then quickly put it together like so. Hold it for about 10 seconds. <laughs> I didn't mean to chuck it on one side like that. There you go. So the idea is, after I've held 10 seconds, it should hold. Now, I don't think it's going to be as strong as the Eureka one, because the Eureka one, they chose the viscosity to suit the purpose. This general purpose, very messy super glue, which I happen to have all over my bench at the moment because it's leaking. Um, because of stupid little tubes. No, all right. Now, if that's worked, okay, the activator has set off the actual uh, super glue. I believe that's alkaline, and it's the alkaline that will set that off. Because I know your saliva can actually make you uh, set that off as well, but it's rather messy and it gets all white and horrible. So hopefully, it is stuck. Oh, that it has. All right, yeah, it's pretty much, yeah. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a little bit longer. It's definitely stuck it though, as you can see. And that is the cheap uh, super glue. So even if you don't want to buy the good stuff, you could get away with buying yourself some Eureka activator, such as this one here, they call it Mitre Stick Activator. That's what they call it, yeah. <laughs> and some cheap arsehole um, super glue, if you want. I'm not saying it's the, what you should do, because these things are married up to, you know, for a reason, yeah. It works if you if you come unstuck, or if you, you haven't got you know, the cost of living crisis and that, and you're just hobbyist, you don't necessarily want to be spending more money. And this is quite a large bottle they sent me here, to be fair. It goes a long, long way. It really does. Because the glue is thin, you know? So that's one. one. That is the cheapy, cheapy, cheap one. It seems to work, doesn't it? Don't you think it, uh, it seems to work? Maybe it's only a picture frame, argument's sake. Or, you know, stronger might, isn't that? You know, you might want to do something with it. Now, there are other things you can do. To strengthen this mirror. Now it's together, you see. You can get on with your work, you see, because it's almost instant. You haven't got to wait for the glue to dry. What? Uh, mess about with these flipping things. See we point? And that joint, if you look, is pretty much perfect. It's not rocket science, is it? Definitely worth doing. So, so I'll put that to one side for the moment. And you could strengthen it if you want to. You could put, uh, I've, got, I've got a jig I've made up where I put a saw curve through, a little bit of wood in that way. And you could put an accent wood in then if you want. So a different colour piece of timber. Look cool. So put that one aside. I think that one's okay. Yeah, there you go. And we're going to do the next one. And the next one we're going to do using their super glue and the activator. I expect the results to be similar, um, but I doubt they're gonna, it's going to be as good. I'll oh, just do that one. That's not just smooth and lovely. All right, I'm not going to push them together before I put the, the activator on. So all you've got to do, same thing again, is you want to make sure you've got a good cover of glue. All right, like so. Do, 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 do. I know what you're thinking. How, how's you going to do the third one with the, with the PVA glue as well? Well, I'll keep watching, you'll find out, won't you? So make sure you've got a fair bit of, yeah, you know, fair bit. You make sure you've got coverage, right? Not necessarily all oozing out the edges and stuff. All right. Oi, oi there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, spray that like so, so it's, you know, it's wet all over and do pretty much the same thing make sure you've got a bit of a uh, wax down or you use using something that can resist the glue because you don't want to glue it to the work surface nice flat work surface and then you can push them together like so and hold that for about 10 seconds literally about 10 seconds that's the booty about this stuff it, it takes no time at all and then you've got a, a pretty solid flipping joint this one's strong because it's actually glued into the waxed area actually lifted a bit of paint off of that. Oh, that's it. Already. Already. That's better. That's definitely better. I could tell with that one, that was, yeah, if you feel it in hands, obviously, the feedback you're getting from the actual joint, because that glue's so thin. And also, I don't think it's going to be as strong as this stuff. I really don't. 
Yeah. <laughs> Why wouldn't you do it? If you're gonna be putting loads of joints together and you want life easy and you don't want to have to buy these things, yeah? Well, then it makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Don't it? Now, you can get away with those, but you still got to set to one side and drive. Well, this is instant. All right, now let's say, for instance, you didn't want to rely on um, the super glue itself, but you want to use the super glue, and hence, well, the mitre stick glue, which is sorry, acrylate, which is basically super glue. So this is one by Eureka, like I say. And then for this, you sent the stuff, they kindly sent the stuff over to me. I'm not sponsored or anything. They just sent me some glues over, they just, you know, use it in your videos if you, you know, if you like, yeah, fine. Why not? Because you've got too many to make a video, doesn't it? You know, that's, I'm quite happy with that. That's fine. So, I know some people, hey, you do sponsorships and stuff. Oh, well, maybe later. Maybe later. But at the moment, I'm quite happy they're sending me bits and pieces over. So, all right, the third one, which is going to be done a little bit differently. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, no. It, oh, yes, it is. Well, there you go. We're going to use a PVA. <laughs> and all we you cover that, all the PVA, right? No, I'm not going to. What I'm going to do is, this is a new tub. And this one is Eureka again. I don't know why I opened it, because I've got some wood glue over there actually already open, but I suppose, you know, it's all Eureka stuff. Uh, yeah, they're nice, a nice bunch down there, they do as well. So, um, yeah. Do, 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 do. So what you'll do is you put your glue around like so, all right, I've overdone that a little bit. Um, it comes a bit faster than I expected. Probably because it's a big full thing again, it's, you've got a little, lot less control of it. I would suggest, I don't know if they do or not, whether or not they do some glue containers um, or better nozzles, because that nozzle's a bit of an old chunky side, that one. Right, now I don't want it all the way across there. So basically I've glued around the outside edge, like so. <laughs> bit like that, right, yeah, just like that, just like that. Get the diddy men out. Is it diddy men? I can't remember now. Anyway, uh, I grab this one over here and I've got glue all over my fingers. Oh, it's good to have a bit of glue on your fingers, isn't it? Makes you feel like you've done something. That's what it is. Yeah. And then, what I'll do on the other piece of wood, all oh, that piece of wood, that's the really matter. I'll put just a little blob of this on. A little blob there. Or you could just go down the middle, like so if you want. All right? And then put the activator on the other piece of wood, like so. And then I'd push them two together, like so. You see the PVA glue is actually coming out, it's squeezing out. But the purpose of the um, super glue, I'm just using it as a clamp. Now, where this is quite good, say for instance, I'm using cask of like powder resin wood glue. And I've done my little technique where I dye the wood glue with, um, by using, oh, well, like, wood dye. <laughs> and I uh, made a brand glue, you know, because I don't want a glue line anywhere. Well, then it kind of makes sense to um, uh, use this method because, uh, you yeah, know, you have to use clamps again, aren't you? If not, but if you do it this way, oh, this is this 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 moment the truth. Oh, that is, I'm gonna lift up one end. Do you think it's ready? Oh, I hope so. The PVA, remember, has not gone off. The old you know D three wood glue has not gone off. It says it's ten. Uh, this is fast curing. It says, yeah. So I don't know how fast it is, but it says fast curing. It's got that little while. I have got another one over there by them as well, which is actually a 10 minute um, fast grab um, PVA, which probably made more sense to use that one. But let's see if, if it's held. Oh, oh it's like magic. <laughs> yes, it has. So if you are hell bent on using your PVAs and what have you, remember this is quite a small joint, if you're using bigger joints, if you're doing it this way, you wouldn't do that with obviously the UPVC plastics or anything like that. It's, it's only for the purpose of obviously wood, where you would like to have um, some of the durability and flexibility of a traditional wood glue, but you don't want to have to use clamps. So then all you've got to do is just use your, in this case, the wood stick, uh, might a stick wood glue, and there, well, <laughs> might a stick activator as well, both by Eureka. Like I say, um, they sent them over to me, uh, which is very kind of them, uh, but I'm not a sponsor. I would like to actually talk to them about being a distributor, actually, that would be interesting. Um, because it's not, you can't get it here. They've sent to me, because I'm in France, you see. So um, they sent it over, so uh, that'd be quite cool if I could become a distributor, because I'm fairly confident I might be able to find some buyers here. To be honest, for this stuff, um, and especially for the cascamite powder resin wood glues, which they do. So yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. By the way, cascamite powder resin wood glue is now owned by Eureka or formulated by Eureka, not Polyvine. It's not the same. It's more like how it used to be years ago, because Polyvine wrecked it. I'm sorry, Polyvine, but you did. You wrecked it. So um, yeah. If you want to get cascamite powder resin wood glue, which happens to be over there um, in that tub over there, um, you can get that from Eureka, and it is good stuff now. So this, anyway, I vouch for it. And I'll be making a boat soon. 
Yeah, that's one of my next projects. We we'll make a boat on this bench, and I'm going to be using these wood glues. I wonder what I'll use. I might use the D4, which is a polyurethane wood glue. That might be interesting. Where's that? Oh, God, oh, there it is. That one. Yeah, I might use that and the cascamite. Both waterproof wood glues. So anyway, there you go. Got three nice little miters put together, all right? Using uh, basically super glue, siren acrylate, but with the activator. And this one here is a little bit more special because I use it with the PVA as well. And uh, yeah, so there you go. And don't forget, get yourself one of those because it really makes life a darn sight easy. Once it's set up, if you're going to do regular miters, definitely worth having. Do your first cut using your chop saw, which will be all splintery and horrible, and then finish off with that. Anyway. Tell me what you think, please leave it in the comments down below. Because I do actually read the comments, but you probably already know. Oh, okay. It's what, oh yeah, by the way. Boom the old like button. Ta-ta! <laughs>